This is Westwood, Massachusetts, a small suburban town right outside of Boston. The population may be small, but the students that attend Westwood High School are some of the most engaged and brightest in the nation. Ten years ago, most of them didn't even know we had a robotics team, let alone one that has established the mission to spread first ideals within our community here in Westwood and on an international scale. Doing so demonstrates our core values. We are not just a team that builds robots, but a group of people gathered together with the overarching mission to spread our knowledge and love for STEM to our local community. Specifically, we focus on promoting robotics and STEM to kids of a younger age. As we know, the love for FIRST and robotics starts small. Last season, we implemented weekly sessions of an after-school robotics program at our local elementary schools, teaching children how to use FLL kits in order to introduce them to the science and engineering process. We hope to establish an interest in FIRST within younger generations in order to preserve and expand our community's involvement in STEM. In order to propel growth on our mission, we established a 501c3 nonprofit organization in 2017, broadening our outreach and funding opportunities. We have also initiated a volunteering program through a partnership with the Presidential Volunteer Service Award. A large portion of our volunteering manpower is focused specifically on FIRST programs throughout New England. On a local scale, we have organized FLL scrimmages for our surrounding town's teams and have implemented team building challenges for our younger peers to compete in, opening their eyes to the everlasting benefits of FIRST. Last season, we expanded and continued our support for FIRST teams by mentoring a rookie FRC team in Shanghai, China, assisting them in all aspects of the challenge and eventually helping them advance to the FIRST championship. Individually for outreach, is um, create a after-school program for girls who are interested in STEM through a class at our school called SIP, which stands for a Student Independent Project. And it's a class where you can study, um, create, or like build anything you'd like with something you're passionate about. And I've always been passionate about getting more girls in STEM because I've been in robotics and other STEM classes since freshman high school, and I've always been one of the only girls in those parts. <laughs> in classes and it's always frustrated me and I decided that I wanted to participate in this class and I researched what age most girls break away from STEM fields and I found out it was like the end of elementary school years and so I now am teaching a class for fourth and fifth grade girls teaching them computer science, engineering, and robotics and it's a lot of fun. <laughs>